are following new developments tonight in the police involved shooting death of Kevin Matthews in Dearborn. A watchdog group wants the officer's name to be released to the public and 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig tells us the group is also pushing for something else. As Detroit police continue to investigate the shooting death of 35 year old Kevin Matthews by a Dearborn police officer, the Coalition Against Police Brutality is coming out to say that they want Michigan State Police to be the sole police agency handling the case. And in the interest of transparency and, 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 uh, and uh, how can I say, lack of impropriety, I think it's only fitting and proper that the Michigan State Police, they're independent, others, because there's no relationships there and that Michigan State Police should be the ones that do, do this investigation solely. Kenneth Reed says one of the reasons they want MSP and only MSP to investigate is because Dearborn's police chief used to work for Detroit police. It certainly is evidence of a struggle. We do know that. In fact, uh, there is a witness that indicates there was a struggle. Another reason the Coalition Against Police Brutality wants Michigan State Police to be the sole investigating agency is because they believe some statements made by Detroit Police Chief James Craig the day Matthews was killed were inappropriate and could bias the investigation. We also know that this subject or this suspect also has been a chronic problem in this area. When Chief Craig made the statements that he made concerning what had happened, it sort of it sort of put uh, Mr. Matthews in a, in a bad light. They tried; to, it was almost like they were trying. He was trying to criminalize this young man. Lieutenant Michael Shaw with Michigan State Police says there is no need for MSP's involvement, and that Detroit police are in charge and more than capable of handling the investigation. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, Seven Action News.